Oh. Welcome, welcome back. It's a casual Thursdays. We're playing some Ascent tonight. I'm trying to... I got this little low-level character that I had to start over with because I lost my other character. Those who listen to the progress are familiar with this, the progress. <laughs> Those who listen to the podcast are familiar with how I lost my progress. But essentially, I started a co-op game with a friend. They asked me to select a save file. I selected one I typically use. What they meant is, which file do you want to overwrite? Oh, shit. And here we are. So, just back to not square one. Well, I guess I was when I started that co-op session. But now I'm at level 10. I think I was at level, like, 30 or something. Something silly. So, I've got a long way to go to get back to where I was. But, uh, speaking of getting back, I actually had to take Tuesday off. I typically play a new game on Tuesday. And I'm not even sure if I had uh, chosen which game I was going to play, but I was uh, not feeling so hot on Tuesday. And I don't like to miss streams. I try to stay as consistent to my schedule as I can. I can count on one hand the number of times I have missed a scheduled stream, but it still bothers me every time it happens. Uh, so. Again, I always say this. Luckily, I don't have any concurrent or regular viewers. So, there's probably nobody to apologize to in active trading places. Okay. Okay. I still don't know where I'm supposed to go. I think... What's worse is I think that my main mission may have glitched... I'm a little concerned about that, which means I'd have to start over a third time. Let's see. Back. To bring back the kidnapped indents from the Onyx Void. Okay. Interesting. Is there any indication of where my damn mission is? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. My main mission doesn't seem to be booting up for whatever reason, which I'm not a fan of. So, it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, um, what was I saying? Don't like to miss streams. Don't have a regular audience. I am really not in the mood to stream tonight, to be honest. And it's casual Thursday, so that just would mean, okay, we'll just play whatever you want to play. I wasn't in the mood to play video games. <laughs> I just, I played about an hour with my son on TikTok Live. We were playing to beat him up. That kind of took a lot of my energy. Because uh, he's five, and he is the light of my life. But he's also a lot. <laughs> he is a lot right now. Uh, he's, he's just always doing the most. Um, see, I'm just, uh, I'm worn down, but whenever I, whenever I'm like, I have to stream, I'm not in the mood, I always think, should I just keep doing this? Should I give up? Like, I always have that thought. Um, I don't know, I could be of two minds about it. I mean, it's been almost two years since I started. Once I hit December, I will have been streaming for two years. I still don't have enough followers to make affiliate. Um, at this rate, at the end of my third year, I probably won't. But I also know that, you know, as far as finding your audience, it could it could just be a fluke. It could be something as simple as just, you know, a snowball effect, picking the right game, that type of thing. But again, I don't consider picking a game in my strategy. I just play when I want to play. I think that's part of it. I think I do too many different games. And audiences tend to latch onto the game they want to watch. But that's how I met a lot of people, and I thought that that would work too. You know, people have popped in to go, oh, hey, I like this game or that game. They get to know me. They follow me. But that hasn't really, uh... Hasn't returned dividends like I thought it would. So... 
I don't know. I'm starting to think that this isn't the format for me. Uh, and there are other avenues which engagement is a lot higher. TikTok is one of them. Huge engagement on TikTok right now. And I'm having a lot of fun making videos for that. So a lot of my creative energy has been going towards that lately. Um, the podcast, of course, has always been doing great from day one, which is awesome. I'm always pleased to see that continue to do good. Sorry, guys. I just want some health. Don't stand next to the health machine. <sighs> but yeah, I don't... Um... Oh, it's my grenade button. Whoops. I don't know. I've been thinking about whether or not I want to continue streaming, or at least at this rate. Like, maybe just go down to one day. But I don't know. I could just I could just stop completely, too. I could just stop completely. And only two things are going to happen if I keep streaming. Either I am eventually going to find my audience, and, and who knows how long it's going to take. If I knew that finding an audience was a certainty, I probably would keep doing it. I don't really care how long it takes, but it's not a certainty. Because the other the other thing that could happen is I just don't. I just stream and it stays like this forever. And on such a huge platform with so many other people already vying for attention and really working the system, like I've always just refused to play ball. That's the other thing too. I don't have any gimmicks. I don't uh, break any records. I don't play the popular games. I'm just a dude who really loves video games and plays them and chats to myself for a couple of hours because there's usually nobody in the chat. And that's all I do. That's all I do. Um, and that might be part of it. Maybe I just, uh, I'm, not, I'm not putting forth the right amount of effort in order to get the audience that uh, I need. So I'll definitely accept part of the blame. At any rate, whether it's just I'm a small drop in too big of a pond, or the effort, or the style, something, there's some puzzle pieces not fitting. So, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some thought, but I might either scale back the schedule or stop streaming altogether and just focus more on my other endeavors. If I do stop streaming, what I'll probably do is, uh, let's go to the Warrens. What I'll probably do is um, still do gameplay recording, either to make TikTok videos or silent plays. Let me turn off my uh, my phone's sound so that way it doesn't pop into the, the stream here. Yeah, I might do some silent plays and maybe maybe just do like one day a week and play a single game and just stick to it. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to switch up my style. I did it initially. Initially, I just, like, I streamed The Witcher. That's all I did. Um, maybe I go back to that format and see if that works. I like the idea of doing different shows initially. I thought it was a lot of fun, especially in shows in the genres that I like. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, oh, that doesn't seem to fly anymore. And again, you wouldn't think it, but it's a lot of work to do this many games during the week. Especially since I'm doing a new game every single week. I gotta, like, you know, test the sound for that, and sometimes the games are graphically intensive, and the bitrate doesn't work, and it looks all compressed and crappy, and I don't have time to fine-tune that every single week, so... Episodes always come out so uneven. Sometimes they come out looking great, other times they come out looking like crap. I don't know, man. I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna give it some thought. And I always throw these questions out into the ether. I expect no response. But if anybody hears this and they have a suggestion, or maybe I do somehow have silent fans out there who, you know, lurk but don't ever comment on anything, if you do exist and you enjoy watching my stuff, let me know. I'm at that point where I kind of need to know if I'm wasting my time or not, because I kind of feel like I am. And if you have suggestions on what you want to see different, or what you think would, you know, help me. I've had some friends who are streamers that have found almost immediate success 
And their advice is always, just pick this popular game that's popular right now. Everybody's looking at this game. But that's... I, mean, I appreciate that advice, but I don't... If that's if that's the key, then I'm, I'm not getting it. Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to pick a game that other people want to watch. I want to pick a game that I want to play. And I was hoping that there would still be like-minded people out there that go, Yeah, I like watching beat-em-ups. Or I'm into horror games, so I'll watch horror games on Fridays. That type of thing. That's why I did the theme shows. It's just not catching on, man. It really isn't. And again, it could just be I need to pay my dues. Maybe I need to do this for another few or another couple years if I'm going to stick to this type of style before it really catches. I mean, it isn't a fast track, but maybe there is a track. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Hey! Okay, my uh, mission thing still isn't working, but there are some icons over here. I think these are just icons for side missions, though. Maybe the reason why um, my main mission isn't showing up is because I have to, like, gain a certain amount of levels. Like, I don't see that being the case because the main mission I'm on right now is, like, level 6. I really do think it's just broken. I don't have waypoints. And unfortunately, since I don't have waypoints, I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. It is... It's not great. It's not great. Poor, poor Ascent. Really like this game. There's not much I can do. Let's get my old file back, and it looks like this one might be a bust. Which is sad. Where is the. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it just looks like a ton of side missions. I don't know, maybe if I complete a side mission or activate one that has a waypoint, maybe that'll work. Or I can figure out if there's a waypoint glitch and how to fix it. I can give that a shot too. I mean, worst case scenario, one of the things we could try tonight is just like completely booting down and then booting back up the game. Maybe that'll work? I don't know. We will see. I'm going to try and pick up some of these side missions and see if they work. Okay. Here goes one. I remember doing this one. I think we do this one again. Grow niche, data burn, neural pains, general anxiety, impotence, whatever it is, Hans can help. Stems to satisfy every need. Hans' signature ramrod bomb has been flying off the shelves lately. Seems especially popular with Jacqueline's. Now the stack, the stock is running low, and Hans lacks enough ingredients to make more. One item in particular is rather hard to come by. Hey, feral, I remember the feral testicles thing. Okay. Cute. Uh, yeah, I remember this one. This one was odd because I felt like I wasn't doing it right, but a lot of the ferals are actually female. So in order to kill a, a male feral, it's just like, it's a matter of luck. Okay, okay, the waypoint system works. Okay, good. I'm gonna go do this mission, and then hopefully when I get back to the main mission, the the waypoint will work again. I don't know. We'll see. But we're gonna descend to the deep stink. That's where the ferals hang out. That's where you gotta go to get them testes. But yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking on. I'm thinking that I need to do another shakeup as far as streaming is concerned. That might be the route that I want to take. And what I might do, just because it's easier to set up, is I might just start doing like TikTok lives. Just point my phone at my TV. Let it ride. See if I can catch an audience doing that. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, excuse me. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Let's go see. All right. Okay, we are in the deep stink. So deep, so stinky. That's where we started the game. I've been trying to play uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, got a feral testicle. Nice. See how many I'm killing? I only got like one out of ten. Why you only had one? I'm, I mean, you figured you get two at a time, right? Guess not. Maybe it's like one pair. Let's hope. For their sake. Okay. Yeah, this game is still fun, even though I have to redo a lot of stuff. I'm down to... It's a little janky, too. Just a bit janky. Just a tiny bit. There's, there's bugs here and there. It's not game-breaking. Well, that main mission thing, if it persists, that's kind of game-breaking. But we'll see. I finally got my waypoint to work. So, we'll see if... Maybe finishing this mission will generate the main mission to move forward. I really, really hope it does. situation. Pick up all this cash. And or health. Next big group, I should be able to at least get one. Oh. Hey, level up. I'll take it. Oh, and I think... Oh, no, I don't have him yet. This little thing disappeared. I thought I had to uh, do what I needed to do. That whole group, not a single male among them. Okay, what about this big guy? Does he count? It's not. Oh, wait, yeah, something counted. Okay. Oh! Head back. I really hope this works. I would so like, despite its best effort to stop me, I would like to complete this game one day. That yeah, would be ideal. But yeah, maybe I can um, switch my stream as like a A one game at a time type deal and use it to play games maybe that I've always wanted to finish but never got around to. Just throw throw it on the steam the stream. And there could be long stretches where I'm playing a game that nobody wants to watch, and there could be stretch where I'm playing a game that everybody wants to watch. Who knows? 
I don't know. I don't expect it to go well. I expect it just to be a way to collect playthroughs. Um, because honestly, uh, I have tried just about every game under the sun. And I occasionally get viewers here and there, but not enough. Like, to, like nobody regular. Zero regulars. So, it is what it is. another episode of the podcast tomorrow though tomorrow we're gonna have a guest it's a really really nice guy a young kid out of houston who has his own youtube channel and been putting up videos for a while we actually met him on tiktok he's been super nice and supportive of our channel so i wanted to platform him and kind of get him put out to our audience chat with him for a bit his name is Sir Awesome Bo. Or as he says on his channel, Sir Awesome Bo. <laughs> I need to listen to him introduce himself again. He says it, he <laughs> kind of growls awesome. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> and then we have another, like, massive collector. Like, she has a dumb amount of rare PlayStation games. And she's constantly showing them off on TikTok, and I'm really excited to have her on. She'll be on uh, two weeks from this week's episode, so we'll have an episode in between where it's just me and Full Metal Merc as usual. And then uh, we're in talks to get a speedrunner who just uh, just broke a world record, actually. Um, it sounds like he's interested in hanging out with us, and we're going to talk to him about that. It sounds pretty hype. And then uh, there's another guy that runs a podcast that's more focused on gaming dads, which Full Metal Merc and I are both gaming dads, so he thought it might be cool to pop on and guest with us. And I am so down with that. So I'm looking forward to that as well. That'll probably be the two guests we'll have in November. So we're lined up, which is great. Okay. Alright, Hans gave us payment. Mission complete. Alright, so, um, gonna try. Damn, it still didn't activate. I really, really don't like that. Um,. What are we going to do about that? I'm so worried that I screwed up. Maybe if I go see Poon again, I can get him to activate the... Uh... Ah, but the thing is, do I remember where the where the place is, where he's at? I think it's... No. This is the grafting area. It's like a floating crate right here. Good stuff. Shianato, what's that for? Fully upgraded a weapon. What do you mean? It's at Mark 6. It's not fully upgraded. Also, wouldn't I have already gotten that achievement? Ah, man, Xbox is weird. Alright. I'm gonna save my other ones for my secondary weapon I'm eventually gonna get. I'm gonna look for like an energy assault rifle or machine gun. Have that alongside my ballistic weapon and then we'll be good to go. Okay. Somewhere around town is the club. Where we get a lot of our early game missions 
<clears throat> but I don't have. I don't really have the town memorized, so I'm just trying to. At this point, I'm going to be doing some guesswork. So we can pick up this mission real quick. Well, let's break through. Go get the germ samples. Boo, 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 boo. Humidity doctor. Interesting uh, angle. It's all of a sudden very zoomed in. I don't mind it. Oh, oh and we're back. <laughs> Got a mission over here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna try to do. Let's see. Quit to main menu. Okay. All unsaved progress in the last three minutes. No. Okay, I'm going to close this. Let's quit out completely. And then pop back in. And see if maybe I can get it to kind of kickstart doing... Giving us the prompt for the next mission. I hope. We'll see. I'm so sad about this. My character is gone. <laughs> Ugh, it's rough. It's been so much time building her up. Ah, uh, I forgot how long it takes for this damn thing to load. Kind of avoid that in the beginning. This is the feed. The feed, the feed, the feed. Yeah, it's just. It's not even. Alright, let's see if we can Google it. The Ascent. Main mission not tracking. Main mission not advancing. Okay, here we go. I'm working on the Trading Places mission. Oh, no, I think I am, too. Oh, good. Okay. The last step I completed was return to 438 Hung, which I did as a check mark inside it in the mission log. Okay, I all I did was Archaeology Blues and Mutual Dependencies, but okay. Let's see... Waypoint, okay, try looking for a waypoint. Waypoint isn't there. I went to the Cosmodrome anyway. I fought the enemies that were there, but I still didn't get an indication that the mission has advanced. It seems the siege mech doesn't appear since the mission hasn't properly advanced in the mission lab. It sounds like you may have encountered a bug, which would be unfortunate because this game only uses autosave. You could always try verifying the game files. If you press O, oh, does the navigation try to talk to him repeating the lines to report back going? Keep saying it, but mission still doesn't advance. Yeah, it sounds like your save might be bugged. I did this mission not long ago and it definitely advanced, and the waypoint system led me to Cosmodrome. Oh, this guy lost his entire file. It looks like that's what's happening to me.
Okay, invisible character glitch. Unable to join friends. I want this page load. Elevator glitch. Interact screen. First person mode. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing that bugs are known, but I'm seeing nothing as far as, like, what to do about them. Oh, here we go. Game-breaking bug on main quest, mutual dependencies. Which is, looks like that's what we just finished. Uh, basically, after your quest log tells you to go to Grinder District there, according to the walkthroughs, trigger a new task called Kill the Fool Crumbs. In my case, however, nothing's happening. I can kill the entire district. The quest still tells me to go to the grinder district. Uh, help. Thanks in advance. I fixed the issue and could finish the quest. Mutual dependencies successfully. I tracked back to the quest giver, Poon, in cluster 13 in the bar. I talked to him and asked all the questions. Okay. Let's try that real quick. So cluster 13 is where... Oh, So it looks like, where am I at? I'm right here. Okay. Cluster 13 is like just south of me. Okay. Okay, this isn't it. Check the map again. Uh, oh, it's in Cluster 13. Dang, I wish it'd show me where it is, though. Well, these uh, arrows are entrances to something. So that's kind of an indication of where we need to go. So it looks like if I head north, I'll find the entrance to a couple of places. Hopefully one of them is the bar where Poon hangs out. <laughs> I always feel weird saying his name. Uh, let me bring back up my chat in case somebody decides to pop in and say hi. Not likely... But you never know. I always hate it when somebody pops in and say hi and I'm not there. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn. The one time. How close are we? Okay, if I keep going straight and go up this way. Looks like I might be able to find it. Oh, I went past. Let me go down and to the right. Here we go. I see an opening in the somewhere. Oh, this is the morgue. We don't want to go in there. So let's go up this way. Is this it? No. Oh, I bet this is it. Yeah, here we go. Yes, okay. Let's go start a dialogue tree with Poon. Onyx Void? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let me see what else this thing says. Uh, somehow the game auto saves when you sell stuff or find stuff. Then I quit out of the game and restart it. Then I proceed to do the main mission. Straight to the main mission from Cluster. Track back to the quest. Asked all the questions in there, made sure to you know, auto save. Auto save. Sell stuff, find stuff. We started, then I proceeded to do the main mission to sidelining. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Try to gear up. And then. Oh my god.
to get jacked. We got Luton. Empties the remainder of your clip with perfect accuracy and extra efficiency. Slows down incoming projectiles. Okay. Energy hand cannon. Hmm. Looks like I got a few things I can sell. Twelve of these? Holy crap. Alright. Gave me quite a few credits to use. Complete. Oh, that's pretty good. That's just better in every way. Oh, crap. All right, let's buy that. Oh, I already had one. Ah, damn it. I'm wearing is already pretty good, at least for the, the time being. Yeah. So the thing I just bought from you. Whoops. All right. Okay, so now that that's happened. Muscle to bring back the kidnap indents from Onyx Void. Let's just let's look at the map and see if we can find the Onyx Void. Grinder, No Man's Land, Gratitude. Oh my God, this sucks. I have no idea where Onyx Void is. Oh man, that is a bummer. Yeah, I'm not seeing many other people talk about it. Ugh, that is rough. Let me see if I can find the location, at least, of Onyx Void. Let's see. 
the Ascent Onyx Void location. Arcology High Street. Okay. Let me see where I'm at right now. Okay. I can go to the fast travel and take that to the Warrens and then try to take an elevator up to High Street if it lets me. I'm a little worried it's not going to let me though, but we can try. certainly give it a shot. I remember where High Street is, at least. I don't think on this file I have a shortcut to it, but I have a shortcut to, yeah, the Warrens. Let's see. Yeah. Which is pretty much right by where we need to go. It'll have a you know, like an elevator that'll take us up to High Street. But again, whether or not it's activated, I'm, it's up in the air. Okay. Okay, the el there's elevators on either side, so I'll go left. Kill some people while we're on the way. The experience points, see how it goes. for money. <laughs> I still think that's hilarious. You got any change in your console? You do? Thanks, I'll take that. I mean, I guess they're all just abandoned vehicles. Like, what, 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 what's going on here with these? Who parked them? Who, who do these belong to? Really? Honestly. That's weird. I was holding the trigger. I should have been shooting over that. Took a lot of damage there. That was not great. That's okay, though. Might get the healing. Here we go. Okay, so here's where we go to go to get to High Street. It is open. Okay. Alright, maybe it'll activate once I get to High Street. Oh god, I hope so. At least it'll let me up here. A lot of times, until you get the mission, they won't even let you go to the place that you need to go to next. There's a lot of side missions that tell you to go to places you haven't discovered yet, and you just you get to the entrance, and it's like, nah. Look at my robot legs. I barely walk straight on them. Ugh. Hey! Oh no, this is just a cutscene from the new area. Hold on, don't get excited. I love High Street though, it's the most uh, Blade Runner of all the areas just because of all the rain. There's about to be tears in the rain if I can't get the, the mission. Come on, man. Come on. Oh my god. <gasps> it worked. It actually worked. Holy crap, we did it. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. I'm so happy. I did not want to start this over for a third time. Multi-stellar syndicate, and we're 
Money. I gotta admit, it's real strange Ovi decided to grab havers from the low tiers. Even if they're alphas, what do they want with them? Then again, everything's kind of fucked right now. The Ascent Group AGI going quiet to that just shouldn't happen. The tangle's all a buzz with conspiracy theories. I've been a bit too focused on our little project in here. It actually feels quite good to reconnect to the world for a bit. Oh, I really enjoyed the playing this co-op though. It's a lot more fun co-op. I mean, it's pretty fun single player, but man, it's just a it's a different animal altogether when you got a buddy. Ouch. You know what? Take one of these. Like protect me. Ain't nobody left, buddy. All your friends are dead. Man, it's Friday tomorrow. Although my work weeks aren't really so bad anymore. Um, I think I'm going to talk about it this week on the podcast. But my, um, my schedule is severely opened up. I don't know if it was the smartest thing I've ever done or the dumbest thing I've ever done. But I, I was considering two job offers. One of the jobs pays barely anything. And it's part-time. But... The amount of money I was receiving would be enough for us to pay bills and get by. And then I could focus more on my creative endeavors and maybe doing some thrifting, stuff like that. Maybe eventually building up something similar to what uh, my co-host has. With like a resale business? I don't know. We, we've talked about it. Uh, the other job is full-time with a lot of forced overtime that, you know, they would pay. Uh, and it would, the main salary was already more money than I've ever made in my entire life. Uh, and we would have been rich. We would have been literally rich, like, if I had taken that job. And I turned it down. I, I accepted it initially, and then I kind of dragged my feet on it, and I think they sensed it, and they were like, do you really want this job? And I was like, you know what? No, I kind of don't. I don't want to work. 50 fucking hours a week anymore. I hate it. Um, it makes me miserable, you know? What's the point of having more money than you'll ever need if you can't, you know, you don't have any time to spend and enjoy it? You know, with this job, I only have to work 20 hours a week. And yeah, I'm not rich, but my bills are paid. I just, I don't know. At some point, like, when your needs are met, Having a bunch of money doesn't really seem to matter too much. I mean, to some it does. Some are like, fuck that, 50 hours a week, let's grind. That's not, that's nothing, I do 100. And cool, you know, kudos to you, I guess. It's just, it's never been me, I can't. I'm not a nine to five type guy, I hate doing that. It, it just, it kills me inside. I can't stand it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know yet, it is, it is yet to be determined if that was a smart thing or a dumb thing. We will see. But it's something I did. I did do it. Man, 
Damn, I still don't have access to that. I might die here, I'm being kind of sloppy. Hold up though, hold on. There we go. Not doing super great on health, they're still over there. better now. Yeah, looks like we need to go up. Please? Try this other... Oh, we can go in here real quick. What's in here? Money and items? I'll take it. Can I have this? Nope. Man, you don't get, like... One of the things I don't like about this game is how long it takes to upgrade your your deck so you can start getting the chests and stuff. Like, it takes way too long, in my opinion. Considering the amount of places you come across that you can't open or go to. Like, I was getting near level 30, and I think I just barely gotten Ice 2. If I even did. I don't remember 100% if I did, actually. But it was pretty much all the way up to that point. The node. I don't know how long my skills are going to last or be in demand if I ever do want to go back and sell out and take that high paying job, make tons of money. I don't know. Uh, but I think I got offered that because of all the stuff that I learned in the past seven years about retirement plans. It's basically what I've worked with. And there's a company out there in Nebraska that was like, we need them skills. I'm going to constantly wonder if I did the right thing. I would wonder if I took the expensive job and didn't take the part-time job. Although I kind of wish I would have taken the expensive job and then just got burnt out on it and then went for the part-time job because I think it would have been easier to get the part-time job than the full-time job again. But, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? Look at this big guy. Yeah. He's a big boy. Hello. I'm 438 Hung, and you're in a time up. Attack to recognize. I have no idea what you're jabbering about, but that ugly speech hole of yours would be much improved by staying closed. Kidnapped indents. Oh, you've lost a few habits. How does this concern Onyx Void exactly? Responsible. Be careful where you point those digits, indent. Next. But as it happens, you're in luck. Next. I know where your precious habits are. But there's an inquiry fee. Commit. And I have a proposal. Do a small job for Assignment? me. Assignment? One of my operatives is Operative? Of course not. He's Next. Bought. The operative is presently being... Next. I want my operative tag as a Next. Onyx Void. Okay. Bye-bye. Honestly, I remember when I first started this game, I tried to do all the side missions first. But it's better just to keep with the uh, the main mission for a while. Like, pick up side missions when you run across them like this. They're lending him? Okay, go get something, blah, 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 blah. And that way, if you run across or in the area to do them and they're not, like, overly hard, you can go ahead and just grab them. Uh, but going after them initially, waste of time. Because so many of them are gated off by level or area. Um, and a lot of, you know, your main abilities and different things that you want, like your, your kit really opens up as you plow through the main missions. So, 
that is what you want to do. And of course, if things get tough, then you can hang back and like fight some jobbers and you know maybe look for some better equipment, get lucky, that type of thing. But again, I find you get in much more trouble, and the game really slows down when you try to go after the side missions. What a fucking mess! Clean kitchen. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Picking up the missions. I can go ahead and turn in some of my bounties. I sure do got the bounties. Okay, bye bye. You're still alive too. Still alive. Look at me. This is a triumph. I feel like you won't have to. I feel like Onyx will hang me out to dry. Shoot something at me? No, sir. It's not allowed. They don't want me to go up these stairs. Let's go. Okay, there's an operative in this little area. We need to find him and kill him. I remember this is like a little rooftop garden up here. Nice little spot. I said they did a really good job of the world building and like the environments and stuff. It's all very pretty. You can't have it. Oh, I wasn't asking. I'm here to take. still trying to fight me. Dude, all your friends are dead. Let it, let it lie. Alright, return to 438 hung. Let me check around, make sure. Doesn't look like I left too much on the table. Just some health. Yeah, okay, we can head out. Wasn't too bad. That could have ended way worse than it did. It helps that, like, I played through this game before, so now I know, like, optimal skill point disbursement. Like, I already have all this plotted out, like, what's works with my play style, and, like, what's the best stuff to choose or whatever. So, there's that. Grab this mission real quick. You're not Rosian, are you? I need a cute better watch. I'm a bit of a bind. They want my ears. Okay, blah, 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 blah. 
Dark Horse. I think I remember that. He wants me to put EMPs in a bunch of race cars so that way he can run, win his uh, track bet. Talk to four thirty eight hung. What a weird name. You return, and I see you brought the tag. I did not expect you to live. This is mildly impressive. The Malhorse Gel Corporation has your index. The carrier they're holding them on is scheduled for departure in a few cycles. Check the cosmodrome. Sends MG Core for in brief. Okay, bye bye. Activate, don't mess with me. I wonder if they have different weapons here. I feel like the weapons don't update by store. They update more by level or advancement in the story. Again, another reason to go ahead and just advance the story. Yeah, that seems to be exactly the case. Ballistic machine gun. I don't think I have that module equipped. That would help. Definitely would help. Let's see. Uh, augmentations. Here we go. Spider Science Booster. A passive boost and your body can have two modules active at any point. You can find new modules in the world from enemies or buy them from the grafter. Install modules via the journal or at the grafter. Okay. Installed. I didn't look too close at it, but I'm pretty sure it's like a health advance. Or a health booster. It does not hurt to have it equipped, especially since we have no other options right now. I think eventually I do change... Like, I remember having a module that changed my dodge into like a more of a, a phase shift, almost like a teleport. Which has made it easier to move like around and through enemies. When things got a little, a little hectic. Hey there, can you go to the prison and do some stuff? Sure can. Okay, bye bye. Prison break. Come get it. Actually, yeah, prison's close by, too. Might be something we can actually hit on the way back. Maybe. Yeah, you can see my health actually jumped up tremendously when I equipped that thing. My two bars now. So, every little bit helps, for sure. There's a bunch of people in this prison right here. I think this is the uh, the side mission. I could pop in here and take these guys out. I think. Access the I still can't access. Stupid. Uh, these little turrets. I feel like by this point in my original game I could, so I probably did level up more.
my side a little bit there. deck upgrade. Okay, maybe this will work now. Yes! That's exactly what we needed. Okay, we can finally start using these. That's great. They definitely are super helpful in fight. Right. It was kind of worth it to come in here, even if it didn't. It wasn't tied to the side mission like I thought it was. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Always break the boxes. You never know when there might be some goodies inside. See, that's as, that's as random as it gets. You get cyber deck upgrades. It's by randomly finding and picking them up. Sometimes I feel like you get them for mission rewards. Uh, but again, there doesn't seem to be like a clear path. You just get lucky with what you find. I could be completely missing the mark on that, but that's what it feels like. Dancing blue naked ladies. They're blue and they're naked and they're dancing. Yeah, 
you. It actually might be worth it to stop by that grenade shop. I haven't checked them out in a while. They might have something worthwhile for me. Oh, wait, this isn't grenades. This is just bounties. Do we have any bounties? I don't feel like we do. No, we don't. Okay. If you find the uh, secondary weapon shop thingy, I'm going to stop on that. Got the augments. I don't think there's any augments I want to buy. Yeah. Well, I can sell. Oh, that's weird. I have two hydraulic slams, but I can't sell them. Maybe because it's installed? Well, in that case, let me buy Lock on Fire. And then. Let me go in and put it in. Let's see. Oh, that's right, I can have two. Added extras. See, I've already gotten these. This makes me angry. I've already gotten these achievements. I don't know why I'm getting them again. That's so weird. This game is so buggy! Check out. Affordable algorithm. Ooh, what she got for me? Okay. So we have the lethal grenade, explosive area damage, gravity fold, shockwave, stasis drone. I'm actually gonna buy this because there's a mission that has to do with um, overcharging like ten enemies or whatever. Uh, but I may not equip it right away. Let me check to see if that side mission's even... If I even have it. Let's see. Go to Scrapland. It's weird. I don't know what double charge is about. Go to Black Lake Towers. Get to the Meat Face Basement. Yikes. Turn to Alex. Destroy the mech. Oh, okay. That was the... We did do that on accident at the prison break. Go to the racetrack. Okay, that one's done and that one's done. Okay. We haven't gotten the mission yet, but eventually when I do, I can immediately start working on it, so. Oh shit. I, I was like, I lost my mission. I switched it on accident. Damsgate. Oh, let me sit up for a bit. Getting super comfy. I'm sitting in my comfy chair today. I usually don't sit in this chair because it's uh, too far removed from the mic, but it looks like um, my voice is picking up okay. It might be a little bit more subdued than usual because it's not right up on my mic. Eventually, I probably want to get one of those, like, mic clip things that, like, you can hang off of the desk or something. I need to get one of those for sure. As much mic work as I do. Right now, I just got, like, a stand sitting on a stool in front of me. Can get some unsuspecting poor bastard to come follow me this way. Like this guy. Watch this. And then, oh, you guys are in trouble. Oh, look at you. Well, those are a lot less effective than you think they'd be. They do work, though. Oh, they can shoot me, too. Yikes. <laughs> be more careful. Grenades active. There's actually a uh, a mission here. Where I gotta find a, a tag. I remember it being really 
What? Access denied? It's ice one. See, that's what I'm talking about. It was probably a random ice thing I picked up by now. Because I, I remember being here and being able to grab that pretty easily. And he's dead. Another one? Jesus. Very serious right now is this Reju field. Oh, okay, cool. Got ourselves a new side weapon. New peep grenade. You definitely don't want to be afraid to change your loadout in this game, especially if you're running up, up against the battle and fix your butt. There's a couple of bosses where I had to do something like that. I kind of like this game for that. I think it's neat that, like, uh, they put a lot of emphasis on different damage types for giving and receiving. How just a simple change of equipment can really uh, adjust the difficulty of the battle. How effective you are against them, how effective they are against you. I mean, it's a simple concept and it's definitely not new, but it's implemented well in this game. I'll have to say that. I gotta give credit where credit's due for sure. kinds of equipment. I love it. Just so you know, the Cosmodrome is Rogan turf. Testy bastards. All misplaced pride and bloodlust. Might attack you just for fun. Yeah, it seems like it. Handling our business, though. Again, it doesn't hurt that I'm kind of seasoned. <laughs> I've been through all this before. Not that I remember it super clearly. I gave up on this game for weeks after I lost my progress. I was like, oof. It's going to be hard to come back to. Yeah, there's like a, a yellow piece of luggage around here that we, uh, one of our side missions we gotta pick up. <sighs> that one took me forever because I thought it was only on the first section. I didn't know there was like more sections to this uh, 
airport area. Oh my god. Let's see that house is investigate. That's a side mission, so keep an eye out for the, that type of luggage, that, that particular asset. for your help, turret. These things are everywhere. They're just so useful. Later on, though, I'll have my own abilities where I can drop drones and turrets and stuff, which I am a big fan of in this game. Especially when you're riding solo. Like, anything to get the heat off of you for a bit can really turn the tide. Poor leg right there. Ricochet gun. Oh, ouch. Let me go ahead and spend my points real quick. Controller disconnected. Oh, that's weird. My controller's still on. That's really weird. Uh oh. Okay. Man, the game was bugging. The sound, like, dropped out. The controller said it was disconnected. That was really weird. I've never seen that bug before. Man, this game is buggy. Tough. Took a lot of damage. Took a lot of punishment before I could bring him down. Said, protect me. Plays left, buddy. Ricochet guns. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Something about to go down. Shit, another mech? Alright. We'll see how that goes.
kind of wish I had my EMP grenade. Um. Oh god. Things are not things are not looking great for, for me right now. I think the issue is having to fight all these guys and the mech. Ah oh, damn, I activated that way too quick. Killed me. I was like, can I uh can I hide over here? Not at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. There is no crouching and hiding from that thing. I'm gonna have to try out a uh with employ a different strategy. Um let me see something real quick. Uh, I could go for the EMP. Energy damage. Okay. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. What's this thing? Crusher rig. Attributes. Hmm. There's a bounty up here. Sorry, bystanders, but why are you standing by? Get out of here. Scene. He's just gonna start attacking this. I'm pretty sure. Not cool, are we? Two hundred meters. Okay. All right. Be there in half a minute. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I skip this. There it is again. Okay. Oh my god. If I take him out of his range, though, he stops attacking. Hold on. Ah! Shit! That gives me a grenade. It's not exactly what I wanted, but okay, I'll take it.
Got him. All right. Astro Smasher. They should be good. The big boys. What's this? Uh, shirt skin. I probably already have. Sabotage the engines. Do the override sequence here. Locate missing scientists from board the carrier. Oh yeah, I remember this mission. This one, like the carrier is huge. This one takes a while. Actually, no, I think this area isn't as big as I... Yeah, I think I'm thinking of a different area. It's later in the game. I would really appreciate some healing. Like I'm about to die. Oh, this gun is stuck on the wall. I want it! HCF heat. Okay, I got it. Oh, I remember this part, though. I have to defend this area, I think, while I'm doing a hack. I think. Which isn't great, because I'm already really low on health. I am. I'm an indent. I don't talk. Except when I, I guess when I pick dialogue and cutscenes. But even then, not much talking. This is the 
Oh, I teleported all the way back. Ah, welcome. If you'd have just accepted my call, we wouldn't have had to drag your ass all the way here. <coughs> Go fuck yourself. Come now. What was Melhurst Gell planning to do with those indents? I don't have anything to say to you. Talk to my superiors. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. You seem to have misunderstood your situation. You see, you're officially listed as deceased in a refueling accident at the docks. I can keep you here till you talk or flatline from exposure. Whatever you prefer. Leave him here. I'll update you later. Okay, mission complete, all right. Done with that nonsense. Go grab a few more side missions if you want. I'll be ready for the main mission to kick in the gear again. It sounds like there's a mission right here, but where the hell is it? Maybe it's like on. Okay, and go lower and then come back. Uh, I can't. Oh, that's frustrating. You gotta do more weight, buddy. There you go. I say you get beefy. And, uh, I gotta go get enhancers for him or something. There you go. Oh, this is that guy we saved in the beginning. I guess this is where he came for a drink. Corpse, watch your back. I'm like, yeah, rather mess with him. Plenty of things on which corpse you want, man. Don't fuck with me, you fuck. Kind of going through this to see if it gets me anything. I really don't care to like go through all this again, so I'm not going to. Me, there's like a mission thing here. Who is it? I'm like standing right on it, but there's nobody here. Oh, that bothers me. And it looks like the underground from here is just cosmetic. There's no way down there, from what I can see. Oh, maybe it's above. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. I think. Maybe. Let me grab this real quick. There we go. missions on deck. Go back and see Poon and start our next whatever mission. You can 
to turn in a few bounties while we're at it. Oh, and there's a side mission over here, I remember. Trouble, trouble. If you just made this rotten arcology a better place. Just kidding. Still plenty of stem fuck hackers out there to make this all unsafe. Here's your payout. So here's the deal. I don't care. Yeah, stick it. Yeah, yeah, stick it to it. Go to the reactor facilities. Alright. While we're here in, in this little hub, it might not hurt to check to see if I can upgrade my weapons some more since I picked up more components. So maybe I'll do that. I gotta find a way down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Can move it up one more mark. And what we got here? Astro Smasher. Automatic rocket launcher. Modified hand cannon. Ballistic, ballistic, ballistic. Everything I have is still ballistic. Okay. Ten meters away from our next main objective. All right, all right, okay, okay, all right, okay. Back down to the deep stink. Okay. Ascenders, use of competing non AG product families will result in an immediate ban. Yeah, whatever I decide to do with my uh, Twitch schedule moving forward, I'll probably announce it on this uh, next episode of the podcast. So. I think I am going to make some changes for sure. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be yet. I need to think on it for a day. Um, but I'll update the schedule this weekend once I decide what I want to do. Yeah, we'll go from there. So, I, I think ultimately I'm going to scale the streaming back. So I can focus on other things more. Focus on, you know, some TikTok live streams. Focus on making videos focus on podcast stuff. I'm actually going to be starting a second podcast pretty soon that's focused more on movies. Uh, so that's going to take a little bit of energy. And I've also just made a lot of online friends and stuff that I want to play online games with. It's not always conducive to streaming. So it'll be nice to kind of be freed up to do that. My kid's getting older and he wants to spend more evenings with me, so... And I'm about to have another kid that's <laughs> going to be born in December. So pretty soon I'm, my time's going to be limited anyways. So I might as well make a shift now while it's a little bit easier to do. And again, I don't have like a major steady audience. So it's not like it's super disruptive. Oh, got that glitch again. Come on. There you go sound cuts out and everything that's so i've never experienced that glitch in this game before we've already seen it twice tonight it's crazy let's go you bastard
Is that other glitch? You hear all that machine gun fire? I hate that glitch. It's just annoying. It's not game breaking or anything, but it won't go away until you start shooting again. I'm usually not on my own. Like I have to get some sort of firefight for it to work. Little jobbers and all. They try so hard. They can't overwhelm you though. Like it's not impossible. They throw enough of them at you. They can catch you slipping for sure. Still, I find them much easier than the enemies that shoot back. Love to see it. Hey, at this rate, maybe I'll be back to my old level in no time. components. I think those are what are used basically for leveling up your weapons. And of course as you go throughout the game you eventually get advanced more and more advanced components for like the higher mark levels of the weapons, which is pretty cool. I love that. myself up there. Worth it, though. I tried to dodge out of the way, but I got hung up on the environment, weirdly. All the more reason to get that uh, little teleport augment it is way better. We'll eventually get access to it again. It sucks knowing, like, what my loadout could be, like, because I had it before. Just not having access to it. I mean, at least I have to have things plotted out to a degree. Go. 
I also like that they refill chests. They don't always put a ton of loot back in them, but you at least get money. Um, and occasionally more equipment. But I think that's neat, too. Because they have you backtrack and go here and there a lot, so there's always something to grab. It is a good deal. Makes you feel less worried about trying to find everything in every single area. The stuff's all over the place, and it's not like, you know, super rare loot, you missed it. I feel like that can happen with certain upgrades and stuff, but they usually put those in pretty obvious spots from, from what I've seen. There's a lot more big boys down here than I remember. Point. Nice. Glad I came up here. It's always cool just to find a free skill point. Okay. I wish the maps in these types of areas were a little more detailed. I mean, you can kind of see what's down here, and at least they show you, like, treasure chests and stuff. But, I don't know. Or, like, an expandable map during gameplay. That would be nice. Whoops, I wasted my grenade. Can I just have it back? No. Eh, it's a good time to switch it out. I don't know if we're going to be fighting too many robots for a while, so. Uh, let's see. Let's switch it to the Fragmore again. Yeah, why not? I'm going to extend the bridge here. It's an icebreaker or something or other. I just found an icebreaker upgrade. That'd be amazing. wish the they put so much effort in the story I kind of wish it was presented a little better like it's not presented terribly but there's so much jargon and techno babble and 
lore to catch up on that most of the conversations just kind of zone out. And you're like, uh, okay, fine. What am I doing? I don't care. Um, but if they had maybe worked on a more, I don't know, like simple story, maybe involve the main character in it more, then maybe you can get invested. Uh, but uh, as it stands, the story is just a vehicle to go from point A to point B, killing things along the way. Like, I've never really felt like it served much more of a purpose than that. Like, clearly effort went into it. I'm not saying, like, it's lazy or anything. It's just... I don't know. It's not... It doesn't really grab you. At least, that's the way I feel personally. is really nice when like the enemies you're fighting die in one hit uh, it basically empties the clip with 100% uh, accuracy uh, but as you can see it doesn't wildfire so if it kills an enemy it just kind of navigates to the next enemy before it continues to empty the clip automatically uh, it's just really helpful in that situation I don't have to do much especially since I haven't put a ton of points in aiming I don't really think I need to I mean, you fire a little bit wildly, but as you can see, not much. And really only if you hold down, you know, for continuous fire. But if you kind of pop it like this, then there's really not much to be concerned about. So I've never really found aim worth it to put points into after I've gotten a little bit of practice in the game and see how it all works. Now, I do think it's good to put into weapon handling so you can increase, like, the speed of your reloading, because that actually, there there is, an, there is an issue there with some of the guns. Uh, but I think once you get to, like, 12 points, and most guns will reload pretty much instantaneously. So, again, you don't have to, like, go all the way up to 20. I think 20 is the max for all the stats. Um... There's definitely some stats that I think are good to go all the way to 20. Critical is definitely one of them. Crit hits are great. Um, your health, that's another one. I'm trying to think what else. Your evasion, definitely want 20 in that. Eventually, like energy, you could top out around 15, I feel like. And you wouldn't do too bad. are fighting robots. Well then, oh shit. Sucks, I don't have any energy weapons yet. And I just put my grenade back to ballistic, thinking I was... Yeah, they're... they're really good at absorbing the damage I'm putting out. We're going to have a tough time. Alright, I'm going to check my loadout and see if I actually picked up an energy weapon. Some It doesn't look like it. It would have showed up by now. It was like a brand new weapon or whatever. Alright, I'm going to switch... My primary weapon to the Astro Smasher for funsies. And see if that helps me out a bit. Oh, not really.
god. Feeling great, is there any help? But... Whoop. Yeah, I got blood up. Oh man, that might take a few tries. Hey, they put me all the way back here. All right, all right, extra stuff. Yee. Okay, um. This actually is probably, we're two hours in, this is probably a good place to, to call it a night. I might be playing some more of this throughout the week, I'm kind of getting back in the groove and liking it again, so that's good news. Alright, well, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, there are other ways to get at me, so if you're interested, please do. Uh, easiest way is just go to the link tree, of course. But yeah, we got a, a guest on the pod, really sweet guy, hopefully a lot of you will... Um, discover a, a fun new YouTube channel out of that, and then we have, like I said, a massive video game collector coming up in a couple of weeks. Speedrunner next month. Uh, another guy runs a uh, father-son kind of, or actually like a dad's and parenting video game podcast, which is, I mean, we talk about parenting all the time, so that should be fun. Uh, so look forward to all of that. New episode on Sunday. And then keep an eye out for changes to the stream schedule. Quite drastic changes. And again, I think I might be scaling things back a bit. So if you're one of the few people that follow me closely, don't worry. Content still on the regular. Daily TikTok videos and weekly podcast. That is not changing. I don't see it changing anytime soon. But I may be pulling back the stream again uh, uh, a bit because, again, we're coming up on two years and it's just, it doesn't really seem to platform for me. Um, my style and the way I want to do things is not conducive to growth here. So with that said, I'm not going to completely give up on it, but I am going to scale it back. Because I'd rather invest my time in things that are going to be more fruitful for me and the people that follow me. So, uh, again, I'm always open to feedback. I appreciate everybody that's always that has reached out and followed me up to this point. And, uh you have any suggestions or want to get together collaborate different stuff like that i am all about it and i hope you all have a nice evening i'll see you tomorrow night for friday night frights take care bye, -bye.